for now. Hi, my name is Peter Lyons, and I am talking to you, well, because this is what I want to do. I have some ideas through my own life experience regarding trauma. I am thinking that trauma is something that affects every single person every all over the world. I have this theory that I want to explore about how one reco uh, recovers from that. I am not an expert on it. I'm a person who has experienced their own traumas. I'm a person who has experienced working with many different types of people in different types of setting, residential drug and alcohol programs, outpatient, psychiatric, you know, all over the world. Um, and for a few years now, I have not been actively working in that field. I was privileged to be able to stay home uh, and be a house dad. And, uh, and now that my daughter is away at university, I find that I'm really, and I always have, been missing working with people uh, because working with people stimulates me to work on myself. I'm hoping to do a series of videos exploring with you my, my beliefs that I also believe would be helpful to, uh, to, to some of you listening. Um, we're going to talk about things like compassion, forgiveness, kindness, um, awareness. Uh, one of my favorite terms that I'm going to really go on a ramble about is, uh, I, I heard it first from uh, Mel Robbins, unpacking. Unpacking. That is like so cool. We're going to talk about metaphor, language. As I'm a writer and a poet, I, I have, a, I have a, a deep interest in language and how we can use that as healing, how it's been used as, as harm, how it can be used creative, creatively. But it's not a, a, I'm not going to do a series of lectures or uh, videos on how to write or on how to do anything. The, my basic belief is if we learn how to ask ourselves the questions, give ourselves the answer, trust, our, trust the answers, we will be able to assess and make decisions and take action. That's empowering. Any kind of empowering, I believe, would be beneficial to all of us. Um, I said that I think that trauma is something that we've all experienced. I want to be really careful here and not suggest for a minute that there's any kind of competition about traumas or that somebody's is, you know, there are things that are, that are, that are beyond my imagination, beyond many people's imaginations that unfortunately people have gone through. I still think we could be, it could be helpful. I still will try my best to, no matter what I say, to always be keenly aware of that for, for, for what may sound easy for uh, some people, could be terribly difficult for other people. But again, because I will go back to kindness, compassion, how we do it for ourselves. I think we need to empower ourselves before we start talking about giving things away, giving away kind, giving forgiveness, giving kindness, giving um, ourselves away. We have to start learning about who we really are. I hope you'll join me. And um, I, I would think it's more of an exploration uh, than a, um, a lecture or than a how-to. Um, in closing, I just want to say like the, the, the spirit of it is this. I think that the, the ancient wisdom, the wisdom that we've heard so much about, the, the, the wise, the wisdom of humanity is in the individual. And I think for, for a lot of us, we've been pushed to go be, our parents know better, our bosses know better, our, our, our governments know better, our doctors know better, you know, and I'm not saying that there's not times and places where we really need to assess whether or not we need to go to this professional or that professional. But I want to encourage us to be strong enough to have a conversation and assess and make a decision that we do that because we want to do that, not because we're supposed to. Uh, and that's kind of all I want to say right now, because uh, this is, again, I don't do videos. I've never done one in my life. Uh, so I'm going to be a little blah, blah, blah sometimes. Um, and there'll be lots of ums and ahs. 
So forgive me, but I don't want to write a script. I want to talk to you is from the heart because the only time anything meant anything to me was when people talked to me from the heart and were willing to be in it with me. Thanks. Good luck. Bye.